This man is about to die. He is one of many millions throughout the world who have suffered death from smallpox over thousands of years. But he will be one of the last. Now, there are only three countries left where men and women run any risk of catching smallpox. The last battle is being fought now against a terrifying disease for which there is no cure. A disease which kills one in four of all the people who catch it. A disease which causes terrible suffering and blindness and which scars for life every person who survives it. To understand this war against smallpox, you must look at the countries where the last battles are being fought. This is Ethiopia. It is here that health workers come to try to track down new outbreaks. By showing pictures of the disease, they try to persuade people to identify anyone they know who has caught it. In this country school, a doctor from Brazil is now carrying on the fight that has already been won in his own country. In an Ethiopian school like this one, the children may come from far distant homes and therefore the children have become a most effective information network for their own particular area. Time and again they draw a blank, no cases, nobody knows. And then quite suddenly it can happen. Not in his village, but somewhere where he knows of a case, somewhere on the map that they can identify. Now it begins, they can act. First, a report to the local headquarters run by the Ethiopian government and the World Health Organization. Another possible outbreak, another pin on a map. The problem now is not to find where the place is. Although they can identify it well enough, the difficulty is to get there. In most of Ethiopia, communications have hardly changed in thousands of years, and a local messenger will think nothing of walking for four days. You may have a vehicle, but that will probably only get you a very small part of the way. With luck, it will be possible to travel by mule. If not, then you go on foot, as the journey took nearly two days. It can be a wild goose chase. In this case, it wasn't. The woman did have smallpox, just as the boy at school had said. There are now only three endemic countries left, so the children like this will have a chance to grow up without the threat of death, disfigurement or blindness from smallpox. A programme to totally eradicate smallpox from the world was started by the World Health Organisation in 1967. This is what the battle is all about. When the last outbreak has been found, contained and eradicated, we shall have nothing left but pictures like these to remind us of what smallpox was. Only the pictures and the scars left on a child's face in case we forget what the fight was all about. The tools for preventing many other diseases are available. We only have to join together and use them. <laughs>